Welcome back to the Educator Fisherman. Yes, this is the one and only Educator Fisherman. The only fisherman who travels overseas and is still a fisherman. So, on this trip, uh, I just want to I just want to show you something a little different. I just want to show you something a little different. That is, um, I'm going to talk about Easy Pass. You know, it's something that um, that has that has come up and back in in my native Ghana. The government did um, abolish Easy Pass, claiming I mean vehicles could just travel freely on the highway that they spent millions and millions of dollars to construct. Uh, so today I'm gonna travel to the Bronx, but then uh, I do have an Easy Pass. Over here we, we use this Easy Pass, and it makes the traveling very easy. It makes the the toll collection very very easy. Because in Ghana they collect all of this toll. And then at the end of the day, I, I bet the toll just end up in someone's pocket. So we do have Easy Pass, and it's very easy. If the easy if, if the toll collection in Ghana could be um, it could be linked to their to their vehicle. And now that we do have national ID cards and and all of that, it could be it could be linked to your to your national identification card and all of that. So that now we don't have to Yes, we do have problems of two over here as well but it is kept at, at, at the minimum so we're gonna make the trip from Queens New York to the Bronx and I'm gonna keep you posted I'm gonna show you along as I travel I'm gonna show you the the, the cashless the cashless tow, tow gate where there's no one there just get over there I mean it captures your information it's processed and all you have to do is just keep refilling your your easy pass. Uh, so with this one, I will give um, a total shout out to the vice president, who is very big on, on, on the, the process of getting all of our all of our systems uh, uh, digitized. I know he has the, the nickname of Eba Omiya because of his digitization of everything. So come along. Let's take this um, this cash. No cash uh, uh, payment along the way, but then it's going to be charged onto my uh, my account. Okay. So welcome back, um, the one and only dedicated fisherman. So if you've not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. So as I was talking about. Um, so an easy pass. We are now at the truck's next bridge. Okay, I heard you. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's my little girl. We are now approaching. Uh, we are actually on the truck's next bridge that takes us into into the Bronx. And because I'm taking the truck's next bridge to my destination in the Bronx, the actual. Uh, uh, distance, I mean, the actual travel time is about 15 to 20 minutes from where I am in Queens versus taking the long route without toll, which would have been about 45 minutes to an hour to where my destination is in the Bronx. So, we are now on the truck's next bridge, as you can see, beautiful view, which of course shortens the um, my total travel travel time so this is the truck's next bridge and it takes me straight into the Bronx over this um this beautiful um that's the east river the east river and you look on the other side there's another bridge is that is a white stone the white stone bridge also so coming up, you can see this is tall one mile, all lanes, easy pass, tall bill by mail. So when you don't have an easy pass, what happens is um, you are bail by mail. And when you are bail by mail, they charge you ridiculously. For an easy pass, that is about five to six dollars. You you might get a bill about for about fifty dollars because you don't have an easy pass. Or you could just save yourself that headache by quickly getting get an easy pass. And, uh, or you could also make the payment online. 
So this, yeah, this is just one of the signal. Catch as you go over At here. Until we get over. Until we get over to the main. Over here, over here, right here, it reads your easy pass, it reads your, your, less, your, your plate, and you are good to go. After one half mile, keep left, okay. Interstate 295 so, northbound towards Cross Bronx Expressway. Welcome back. So I finally made it to my to my destination in the Bronx, just under 15 to 20 minutes travel time uh, using um, the tour the tour the tour route that is coming from Jamaica Queens using the truck next bridge um, into the Bronx. The, the travel time could have been more and very long if I had gone the the other route without the easy pass. That is driving all the way. Uh, to the Ground Central and then going through uh, Manhattan over the FDR and then uh, taking a major Deegan and then to my destination um, in the Bronx. But hey, I saved myself that headache, you know, the, the price of gas. I saved myself that headache and time by using the Easy Pass um, and taking the, the tour the tour route. And which of course you are very sure that the toy is not going to go into someone else's pocket. And that brings me to my point: um, the idea of the government abolishing toll in Ghana. And I know now they are trying to make the U turn, but I will. I will just. My simple suggestion is to is to to find a way. To raise the way is not to find a way. There is a way where I mean. Uh, the driver's license or the, the the license plate of drivers or the vehicle identification i mean now that we have the national identification card in ghana all of those information could be linked where i mean the toll being collected on the highway is not ending up into someone's pocket so they can sit down and get to drawing board eba or mia and his people they can sit down and have a way to have to have that all of that information collected and um so have people being built being built by by the vehicle identification instead of i mean people collecting easy pass people collecting um tolls where the money is ending up into the toll collector's pocket a lot of times i did travel along ghana and i just paid i just paid the the toll even without collecting the the ticket and in that in that case what's going to happen they're just going to go ahead and resell and resell the um the ticket to the next the next driver so yeah and i am now done i'm heading back to queens and i'm going to show you how how it works on my way back to uh to queens from the bronx so i'm heading back as you can see my gps is prompting me and says the car road i'm heading back to my destination in queens and it's asking me, do you want to avoid toll road? And I will say yes. Sorry, I'm gonna say no, because if I should avoid a toll route, I'll be on a longer on a, on a longer drive, because I, I want to be I want to be traveling just 10, 15 minutes home. Do you want to avoid toll roads? I will say no, and I have just about about 20 minutes to get home. That is with um with tow so as you can see we are going back over the, the trucks next bridge to my des destination in um, in Queens so <clears throat> if you've not subscribed please subscribe to the channel the one and only educated feature man yes see me anywhere just say educated feature man now now I will respond Koyo. okay 
So subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and I'll keep, I'll keep you posted. I will show you along the way as I drive from the Bronx through the over the trucks next bridge into back into Queens. So we are doing a return trip. A little bit of traffic coming up. We are doing a return journey back to Queens from the Bronx. But then, hey, I can see some traffic building up. When the tolls are collected for the right reason and collected by the right people, not people who collect tolls just to enrich themselves. Okay? We should be collecting tolls to develop, to develop our nation, not for someone to collect tolls or for someone to collect taxes and put that into their pocket. next bridge and we will be going over the Clairview Expressway as someone said the system is working too far something nobody is sitting here collecting toll putting their money in their pocket or diverting their money to some account somewhere okay
like the video, share the video.